Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do a manga review of Ayako by Osamu Tezuka. I have the paperback edition put out by Vertical. Um, there was a hardcover edition, but I believe it is out of print. Um, so I figured I would buy the paperback even though it's super thick. But honestly, I mean, it's held up pretty decently um, after reading it once. And as long as I take good care of it, I'm sure it'll just hold up and it's fine. But if you can get your hands on the hardcover, it's probably a much nicer edition than this than this very thick paperback. But this is the story of Ayako, who's here on the cover. Um, I don't want to spoil too much. This is one of Osamu Tezuka's darker works um, about with very adult themes. It is kind of political, or quite political, actually. Uh, it is set after, I believe, the Second World War. Um, and so Ayako is a very young girl. Our, she is technically the main character, I guess. But we start off following one of her older brothers, who is returning as a... He was a prisoner of war. Uh, he's returning to his small town, far, farm town. His family is quite wealthy. They own a lot of land, but because of the political war climate and whatever, the families lost a lot of their land. The government took it away or something. Um, it's a very difficult time for his family in terms of their status, and they're, they're angry and, and frustrated, and uh, the son who's coming home is seen as a traitor because he, I guess, had sold out some secrets to whoever, the Americans or, or whatever, um, to avoid being murdered, uh, but, so it's a very, it starts off very, um, tumultuous and continues that way. The whole story is a, is a shit show, um, uh, pardon my language, but it's a very dark and twisted story about covering up family mistakes by, making this poor innocent girl kind of the scapegoat of their problems. Uh, it's very disturbing. And it's just, it's a story about a twisted family with a bunch of twisted secrets who constantly uh, who, who like I said, use use this poor innocent girl as a scapegoat for all of their problems and ruin her entire life and existence for their own selfishness and greed. And it's very sad. Um, a very well-rounded story. Like, it was intriguing from start to finish. I've read M.W. and... Uh, the Book of Human Insects by Hosamu Tezuka enjoyed both of them immensely. Again, very dark stories. This one in particular, though, extremely disturbing because at least the other ones dealt with adults and you could go, well, they're horrible people, but they all did that to themselves and they deserve what they got and whatever. Uh, this one, this girl deserved none of this. She was an innocent child and it is quite sick. Um, the things that happened to her, and it's unfortunate, but uh, not inconceivable, I guess. Um, I'm sure that a lot of this stuff did happen to, or has happened to, to kids, unfortunately, not all the time, but it has happened many times in history. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's quite disturbing. Uh, Osamu Tezuka's art, as always, quite intricate, detailed, really beautiful. Um, the buildings, I love the architecture in all of his, his art. Uh... Yeah, it's very Osamu Tezuka-esque, so the art is wonderful, the story is dark, twisted, disturbing. Uh, yeah, I read it in, in about two days, I think. 
It's quite thick. I don't know how many volumes that is originally, but it's definitely, it's just, it's like 700 pages, just under 700 pages. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. I think if you are up for a very disturbing story about a twisted family and what the lengths they'll go to to cover up their own mistakes and secrets and whatever, highly recommend reading Ayako. Uh, get ready to be just grossed out by, by some really disgusting behavior. Uh, yeah. But it's fascinating and feels very real. The ending is quite uh, satisfying, I guess, um, but also still sad. And yeah, it's it's very very much in the same vein as as the other two works by Osamu Tezuka that I've read. Yeah, he does this this kind of story very very well. Um, I'm glad I have it. I've wanted to write, read it for a long time. My library had it, but I guess they someone lost it or stole it or whatever. Uh, so unfortunately, I couldn't read it from the library. So I ended up just buying it. I'm glad I bought it. I just added it to my collection and it's not a problem. But yeah, um, it'll be a while before I reread this one for sure. Because that was a lot to take in. If you've read Ayako, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down down below as always thank you for watching